Hello, good evening, teacher. Oh, hello, good evening, welcome. We will begin here in about one minute. Okay, okay. teacher, teacher, can you, yes? can you hear me very well? Yes, I can hear you, Carlos. Okay, teacher, thank you. Good evening, teacher. Well, hello, Alvin. Welcome. We'll begin here shortly. How's everyone doing? How was your weekend? Now, uh, Edwin, how was your weekend? Um, uh, for me, it was it was great because I get um, I relax off Saturday and Sunday because those two last week ago actually was terrified for me because <laughs> I have to work, I have to work a lot. Because you know how is my work. Yeah. And you say you say you live in 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 United States, right? Yes, I have lived over there. Actually, you know how school works over there. So uh, they have vacations on uh, the final of October and the first week of November. So the the their stuff the the they start again. So, well, what I'm trying to say is when my my boss, when my boss uh the 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 children, they study over there and they, they came to vacations over here. So, but when they came vacations over here, it's so hard for me because they they go everywhere. They go to a lot of parties, you know, <laughs> you, 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 yeah. you could imagine how, how difficult it's for me because last week I, uh, I passed Tuesday, Wednesday and, and Friday and I just sleep like three hours per day. Because in I can sometimes I came to my house around four o'clock in the morning. I was like I was so tired, and then to wake up again at six. You you, you, you imagine that? So yes, it was, it was. I'm very glad that they leave already. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, left. They, they, went, they left. Yeah. Yes, they left to to back. I study again. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, They'll be back was, in December. Don't be back in the show. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be back now, please. <laughs> of to next year, please. Yeah. So that was that was that that's that's the reason that was out and uh, and it was it was hard, but but this week it will be different for me because I I I have time now and I think I'm going to do things well. Yeah, I mean if if they come in, in December, we'll be finished by the sixth. So Six. Yeah, by the six we'll yeah. finish with the course. Let me see. Yeah, but they, 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 I think they have just a couple of days in December. Yeah, they only have a little bit, like uh, I think it's like two weeks, and that's it. <laughs> no, no, nothing like here. They get in November, yeah. December, <laughs> all the way to January. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Okay, well, welcome everyone. Well, whoever's here right now, and it's only 10, right? Let me see. 
this was going to be the the day for the presentations so those of you that were going to be in groups that are here uh, here shortly I will put you with your other classmates right it was three groups three groups that were uh, doing this activity in <clears throat> if you were not here on Friday or you couldn't connect or you couldn't do the activity you can just listen to the rest of the classmates all right and just analyze what they say we'll begin here shortly about these presentations because not everybody's here right it's only about half half of the class right Era día de presentación, right? But Joey probably said, I'm probably going to come in later, right? But we're not going to begin, so we'll wait for them, all right? We will wait for them, and while we wait for them, um, anyone would like to share something, like Edwin? Anyone would like to give any input? Any, anything? Alvin, Edis, anything this weekend? Anything interesting? No? No, no, teacher. No. Only. <laughs> Nothing, right? Nothing new. All right, let me see. Hello, Thelma. Welcome. Doris. Hello. All right, hello. How are you? Everything good? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, well, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening, thanks. All right, so. I managed to correct some of the, there was like two little mistakes in the platform, right? But I went to, I mentioned to y'all that I went to San Salvador, right? And went and spoke with the administration and, and got that uh, fixed, right? Got the platform fixed. Let me see. Now today, um, we are going to, well, you know what? It's already a little bit past the time and I'm not going to continue to make you wait since you were on time. So I'm going to begin, for those that came in early, I will begin with the attendance, right? Let me see. Okay. Abigail. Present teacher. All right, welcome. Okay, we have administration here right now also in the in the video conference. Do you see her, Alvin? Yes, great. Blanca. Blanca. I mean, do you see him? Is is another guy here? Blanca, are you here? All right. Brenda. Brenda. Okay, not here. Carlos. Carlos. Hello, teacher. Good evening. All right. Welcome. Doris? Present, teacher. All right. Great. Edwin. Edwin. Pre present, teacher. All right. Thank you. Present. Okay. All right. Okay, Alvin. Hello, Alvin. Hello. Uh, no, I just want to ask you something. Did you see? Eh, mira ahorita que entró administración yeah. a la conferencia. Yeah. All right. Remember que ellos auditan las conferencias, right? Te entran por unos minutos y luego se salen. ¿Y qué es lo que observan? Si ponen su nombre completo, si tienen la cámara encendida, dos types of things, right? So, yeah. nomás para recordarles eso, que no nomás me auditan a mí, sino que auditan a ustedes, right? Y a veces le toman captura a la pantalla para ver si tienen las cámaras encendidas. All right. Let me see, Francisco, porque aparecen sus nombres. Francisco. Hi, good evening, teacher. All right, welcome. Freddy's. Freddy's. Okay, not here. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, not here. Iris. Present, teacher. All right, great. Let me see, Jackie. Jack. Present. All right, excellent. Jarvin. Jarvin. Present. All right, let me see. Jennifer. 
Jennifer. All right. Juan Jose. All right. Carla. Carla. Okay, not here. Miguel. Miguel. All right. Neftali. Present teacher. Okay, great. Let me see. Roland. Rolando. Okay, not here. Delma. Present teacher. All right, thank you. And Janari. Here. All right, excellent. All right, let me see. And finally, Alvin. Present teacher. All right, great. All right, let me see. Okay, class, we let me show you the share screen. All right. Here I have the presentation right here ready. So let me see who wants to volunteer. Who wants to volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Edwin, thank you. Okay. Finish unit one presentations. How to use as plus adjective adverb reading activity Monday, November 8, 2021. Teacher Mr. Mr. Henry, intermediate four, class number five. Very good, excellent, very good, excellent. All right. So now that is going to be the agenda. Let me see. I have someone in the chat. Good evening. Hey, good evening, Freddy's. Welcome. All right, let me see. We're going to do this, these activities. That is the agenda for today. We're going to do just a little bit of grammar. You saw this on the activities. And we're going to do the presentations that you were, that you were preparing on Friday and reading activity, all right? A reading activity also that will be the last page of your module that will be page 16 page 16 that will be that will be the last page that we will do which is this one right here that you see on the screen right that will be the last page of the unit where we will do all right but first let me see someone here sending a chat sorry i'm late. okay no problem Let me see. All right. I mean, I got 15. Okay, class. Um, the majority is here. And I'm going to put you back in breakout rooms. Remember that we were doing this activity, right? We were doing this activity in groups. If your classmates are not here or there's one missing, uh, well, you just continue, okay? You just continue, and whoever wants to give their brief presentation, they can do it. And I'm going to put you in breakout rooms according to how I had you on Friday. Let me see. It was three groups. I think I have the list here still. Let me see. Hmm. Okay, it was Alvin, right? So Alvin, Edwin, Yel, he's not here, and Blanca, she's not here also, and Janari. Okay, so it would just be you three all right group number two was abigail carlos francisco freddy's and neftali all right you're all here for your group let me see group number three it was doris jackie Jarvin, 
You didn't join, right, Jarvin? Jarvin? No. You didn't join on Friday, right? No se unió al grupo el viernes, ¿verdad? Para esta actividad. Hello? Okay, yeah, you were, you couldn't participate, right? Okay, so I'm going to leave you in the main session. And let me see, Jennifer and Thelma. All right. So, ustedes, you four, Doris, Jackie, Jennifer, and Thelma. All right. You ready? Please finish what you started on Friday, okay? I'm going to give you like mm, maybe a few minutes, maybe another eight minutes to finish. Max, if you finish before then, let me know so I can send you back to the main session, okay? And let me see. All right. One, two, three. The ones that I call, please go to breakout rooms and the rest will stay with me in the main session. So you have about eight minutes, okay? So you can finish the activity. Hello, Blanca. Hello, teacher. Hey, all right. I'm going to put you in your group. Thank you. All right. You were with group one, right? Yes. All right. Teacher. Teacher. Yes, Carlos. Teacher, excuse me. Este, I, I didn't accept the, the mm -hmm. invitation because okay. I, I, I touched in no in the notification okay let me do it again okay carlos yes please teacher all right i'm going to put you in another group then i'm going to send you back okay okay, okay. Teacher. you get it teacher. yes all right Thank great you. no problem okay move to room two Okay, everyone here, let me see. Okay, welcome everyone, how are you? Hello, Edith. Hi, teacher. All right. Hello. Okay. How was your weekend, uh, Glenda? Okay, she doesn't answer. Juan well, Jose? Hi. 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 All right. Welcome, welcome. I I had my um I I was off. Okay. My, um, um I didn't work with the uh, Friday because I have to disconnect him. Uh, okay, no problem, no problem. You can stay right here with me. And then when they finish, when they finish the activities, we can hear them, okay? We can hear them do the activity. Okay, yes, yes. Right. Just a few more minutes, all right? So I'm giving them a few more minutes to, to get ready. But they started on Friday. And for the rest of you, you can just uh, be as, uh, listeners and just observe what they talk about and they're going to talk about this right here i'm going to share with you let me see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is what they're going to can you see the screen Edis? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, this is what they're going to be talking about, all right? This activity right here, which is on page 13, all right? On page 13 of your book. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, so basically this is this is what they're going to talk about. And maybe you can read it is for the rest that are here. Can you read right here? Um, this part right here? Where a group of farmer farmers with high end products who want to expand expand out of the local market. Very good. So basically what, what the other, what your classmates are doing is they're preparing this question right here. They decided what types of groups they were going to be, whether they were going to be construction workers or, or uh, teachers, uh, some mentioned uh, online stores, right? And they were going to talk about a product and expand out of the local market. Okay. In other words, not just be in the little section where they're at, but to expand, right? To expand and grow and grow. All right. And then um, continue, please, Iris. Fill in the possible distribution channels you could use them to make the business grow. All right. So they're also going to talk about the distribution channels what they could use and I had told them to use at least two right and they will put it right here possible channels right remember we talked about indirect and direct channels or they they could even do where they could get people individuals to sell their product like the newspapers right where people are in the streets and they're selling the products uh, just by themselves without a company or anything right they just sell it on the streets that way also and and then they were supposed to come up with with just ideas for the company that they are going to talk about all right continue please it is okay use the matrix about uh, and answer the question for each option with yes or no all right so they were going to do this matrix but I have told them to, let me see, to leave this out. I'm going to show you. Let me see. I have told them to leave this out. So they're, they're not going to talk about this, right? This was like canceled. I told them not to do it. Only this. Only these, right? Only these uh, three parts. And continue, please. Use the channels that ha that have an affirmative answer to every question, and think if it will be the best choice for the business. Okay. Yeah. So they're going to talk about the best choices for their business. And also, I have told them to do a profit potential, all right, to do a profit potential. The, do you remember what profit is, Iris? No, not so good, teacher, not so well. Okay. But I remember that is when the company improved the in ingresos. Okay, their income, their income, their income, right? Remember that um, this is a profit after expenses, right? This is la ganancias, the profit, all right? Profit are the ganancias of a company. So it's everything that they make after expenses. So for example, if they have to pay employees, 
if they have to pay the electricity, the rent, the maybe things that they need inside the inside the company or outside the company. For example, some companies have have a, a little bit of territory, right? And they have to keep it they have to keep it neat or clean and they pay other people to do that work. And then when they sell things or when they sell products or services, they acquire what it is a profit, right? And profit is the gain after expenses. So what I had told the groups also was to estimate, to give an estimate, right? Give an estimate as to how much profit will they make? So I'm going to give an estimate, right? They're going to give an estimate, right? Whether well, it's 100, 200, 2,000, 40%, 20% of the, of, the, of the growth. How much do you think is, is fair to say that companies should get in profit? How much? 5%? 10%? How much do you think? Anyone? How much do companies get for profit? Any estimate in percent? Go ahead, Edith. Can you give us an estimate? For Glenda? Usually the profit percent may be 5 or 10 percent. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. What do you think? Five to ten percent, said Glenda. What do you think, Iris? Depend of the product teacher for me, because the if the product is a is a original or or necessary for for people mm -hmm. i can increase my my profit uh, in this in the sales okay great great i i think it um could be 20 percent okay 20 percent okay 20 percent of profit that sounds that sounds okay also right and if you had a company it is would you would you rather be more than 20 percent <laughs> yeah right a hundred percent profit right yeah. but and that is not always the case right in the in reality it's always between seven and fifteen percent, right? Close to what um, uh, Glenda said, right? Close to what Glenda said. That is around average. I'm sorry. Uh, I think uh, this is uh, average for a real general. Yes, exactly. Because we need a uh, found uh, el punto de equilibrio, equilibrium point. I don't know how. How do you say in language ten? Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's called the equilibrium. 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 Balance, right? Okay. It, all right. That is that is what. Yes, right. We always need that balance, right? Where you never go like this. Boom, 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 boom. So they always set a margin, un margen, right? And there's always an error of 3% or 3% down or 3% up, but they always maintain a, a solid stability, right? Which makes the company grow and it also makes the company run smooth, right? Right, Glenda? Smooth, right? If you have an yes. equilibrium. Exactly, exactly. All right, very good, very good input. Let me see. Um, what companies in El Salvador do you think make the most profit? If you have big, think of the biggest companies in El Salvador or the biggest services in El Salvador. Who do you think makes a lot of money? Uh, 
pharmacies. Okay, the pharmacy. Oh, yes, right. Trust me, right? I, I ask myself, wow, why so many pharmacies? Right? I see a pharmacy here, a pharmacy here. Everywhere I go, right? It's amazing, right? I think on the main street where I'm at, I'm here in San Miguel, right? And there's a main street uh, called Roosevelt Street, right? La Roosevelt, right? And I can go from Metro Centro all the way to Redondela. It's, it's a long drive, but I can probably count about maybe 25 pharmacies just on that one street, right? It, it's amazing. I, I, I get amazed. I have never seen so much medicine, right? <laughs> It's like, if there's a, a buena, there's a Brazil, right? If there's a Brazil, there's a Economica, eh? vice versa, la San Rey, la Querida, right? la buena, all these different ones, right? It's, 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 I get overwhelmed, right? I think about it and I say, why so much pharmacy? But they make a lot of money. That is true. That is true. In but San Salvador, it's the same. I know, I just came from over there, right? Fui el fin de semana, I went over there. Yes. <laughs> and, wow, and there's traffic? Oh. <laughs> it's complicated. It's um, complicated. Yes. Yeah. All corners have a pharmacy in San Salvador. <laughs> yes, it was, it's, it's amazing. I was like, what? The same is as gasoline stations, right? I think I see a lot of gasoline stations everywhere, right? And... But that's good. That's good, right? A lot of business, a lot of commerce. And uh, and child of the third part, um, like a, a part of car. Yeah, car parts, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, they always sell me like I don't know different companies, econo parts and this and that and uh, all these different companies right that they sell remember that cars are growing in El Salvador right uh, people have two cars now some people have two or three cars per family right so a lot of people are are using their own transportation right yes that is true any other companies that you think are just making a lot of money any other the market Okay, the markets. Okay. What did you say, Juan Jose? Uh, similar to Super Select, for example. Mm -hmm. All right. They're building all the time. They're building new supermarkets, right? Here in, in San Miguel, we're having another mall, right? Another yes, in, mall. in San Salvador, there are many. There are many right many here. Malls. There's yes. only There's only like two here, but they're building a big one, a big one. I think the second or the third biggest one in the country, in El Salvador. Se llama Garden Small. Si la quieren ver en YouTube, so you can see what it looks like. It's called Garden Small. And around it, residenciales. All around it, right? Garden Small. So they're going to have a cinema and all kinds of, wow, it's going to be big. Ya, la, ya la empezaron, ya la están haciendo. They're making it right now, right? I could see it like I'm maybe two minutes away from it, right? Right next to Walmart, right? right next to Walmart, a la parte de Walmart, right? Right next to it. So I see a lot of construction in San Salvador also. They're building every day more houses, more businesses. And I think business is growing, right? I think business is growing. Let me see. All right, now I'm going to ask the group to come back so they can give their presentations and Thank you for your participation, for those that participated. And let me bring the ones back. All right. Let's see. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. So I have group one, group two, and group three right here, right? If you're finished or not, ready or not, here we go. All right, here we go. Let me take your names. 
I already have your names here. I just need to check if all of you are here for the group. In your group. All right. Let's see, maybe one one is missing. All right. Take a screenshot. Okay. Group number one, are you ready? No. <laughs> oh, no. I think Solo is. <laughs> wait. wait. <laughs> right? Solo no, you're right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, right? So, all right. Now, uh, remember that when you do these activities, I take it into consideration when I do your evaluations at the end of the semester. At the end of the semester, como que estoy en la universidad. No, at the end of the module, right? Right? Estoy ahorita en la universidad, right? No hay clase presencial ahorita. All right, let me see. Mm, the group number one. Now remember, class, that all activities that you do, I take into account, okay? Recuerden, todas actividades que ustedes realizan, la participación, yo lo tomo en cuenta para darles un reporte individual a cada uno de ustedes eh, para INSAFOR. All right. Ahí nomás para aclarar eso. Ok, let's, uh, let's, uh, porque ellos quieren saber el progreso de cada estudiante. All right. Now, I'm going to call on group number one and I want to hear you. Somebody take the, the initiative, right? So it was... Um... <clears throat> okay. All right. Yeah, okay. Well, teacher and all... Uh, we, we select uh, online store uh, and we have possible channels direct channel, like direct channel. And mm -hmm. because we sell home, app, home appliance, uh, uh, like TV, like uh, 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 fridge there and other, other, other uh, home appliance. Uh, will customers buy? Maybe it will depend of the needs of the customer and um, people who are interested uh, can find and buy products uh, in case of go to physical place. Uh, if, if we know um, uh, after the pandemic, uh, more, more people uh, select uh, buy uh, something uh, like food, like uh, and other things in between home appliance and online and in our in our day is very common and our profit that we select is after after outgoing and after our cost is like Forty percent. What? Okay. Because, yeah, because, uh, but, but uh, we don't have, we don't consider uh, other, other, other expenses or other outgoings. How is right, teacher? Outgoings or expenses? Expenses. Expenses. Right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Expenses. Uh, we don't consider expenses like uh, payroll, payroll administration, or payroll, payroll, payroll sales. And uh, we have profit potential in forty percent, but it's after cost, just cost. Okay, if, so it's just after cost. Okay. Yes, yes. If if we include uh, expenses, uh, expenses administration or expenses sales. Uh, our profit is menos. How can I say menos? Uh, less. Uh, less. 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 Thank you. Less. It's less. All right. Yes, it's less. Yeah. Okay. Just, just that. 
Very good, very good, excellent, very good. All right. So your direct channel, your channel is basically direct, right? Direct yes. distribution. Okay, yes. great, great. All right. Now, and very good. Okay, so that group was Alvin. Um, Blanca, Edwin, Miguel, and Janari, right? Okay, great. Next group. Good job. Excellent, right? So, although you only, only Janari spoke, eh, everyone gets credit, right? Todo el grupo agarra crédito por esto, right? So, all of you get credit because I know that... Yeah, we come when, see her. When, we we I, told her that you have, yeah. she have to explain everything. Exactly, right? So, I remember I entered I enter the groups on Friday and I saw all of you interacting and communicating and sharing information, right? So, very good. So, excellent job for, for you. For your group and group number one all right so these are considered group activities okay so if you participate in the group activities i will have you on this list that i make so great job group number two i think group number two is where i'm at right exactly yes with abigail okay, carlos francisco yes, Fredis, and neftali okay good evening everyone all right, good. I'll do the, a short presentation. Okay, our store is technology online store. Possible channels that we have is online channels and retailers. Um, will customer buy our product? Yes, because we only sell high end technology. Ah. <laughs> and, and we give low prices. So we try to always have our customers happy. Our potential, our profit potential is 20% growth. Why, why is 20%? Because we have low prices, so we don't want, uh, let's say we want to have more customers, even though the profit will be 20%, but if you just sell a lot of product because we have a lot of customers, at the end, the 20% will be more. Exactly. Uh, I, and we have 20% even though for the retailers. So we'll give a discount for the retailer for the, they can have their profits too. And, and if the customer wants to buy it online, it will still have the same profit. So it don't change, it stays, it stays the same at, as a 20%. So I think that will be it. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent, right? Excellent. Now, you gave a good point. Very good, very good. You gave a good point as far as keeping your margin at 20%, right? Not too high, not too low, but a steady, and someone, made, Glenda mentioned this earlier, uh, an equilibrium, right? An equilibrium, un equilibrio, right? A balance, a balance profit margin, right? So very good. Some companies work like that and they they continue to to maintain a profit growth. Kind of like Dollar City, right? And Dollar City, right? You think, "Oh, well, how can they make money? They're selling everything for a dollar, right?" But they sell so much. They sell so much and people go there every day to buy this product, buy their product that they they have a steady uh profit margin. So they yes, are able to easy. maintain and continue to stay in business and at the same time make money right at the same time make money right very good very good excellent right but remember 20 percent every month at the end of the year is a lot right it's a lot it comes out at uh, good money at the end right whether it's 5 10 15 20 it's still a profit right you always want to be in the pluses and not in the negatives right because when you get in the negatives you continue to fall, 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 fall until you file what they call in the United States, you file for bankruptcy, right? You file for bankruptcy. And that's what you never want to do. All right, very good, very good. Um, group number two, Abigail, Carlos, Francisco, Fredis, and Neftali. Excellent. All right, very good. Uh, last group, group number three. Dory. I'm going to show you 
Okay, okay, sure, please. You have access to share. Doris, Jackie, Jennifer, and Thelma. Do, do, do. Farm Fresh. <laughs> All right, let's see this. Farm Fresh. Sorry, I forgot uh, to turn off the microphone. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, good evening. And uh, last minute. This is our activity for today. The, we choose the topic about farmers. And this is our slogan and our uh, logo. All right, very good. Uh, Farm French Organic is the name of our company. It's French, live well. <laughs> well, we choose, oh, sorry, sorry, I forgot to tell something. And this is, or this was our first slogan, uh, slogan and logo, but we decided to uh, choose for this one because it's better. And that's why, and that is because also we increase our sales. And this is our story. We are a group of women Farmers who, ha, who, work, who work very hard to bring excellent quality agricultural products to Salvadorian homes in our town. Mm -hmm. our, product, our product is called Fresh. Fresh are fresh vegetables. Our products are grown in land, <clears throat> sorry, in land without chemical pesticides. Pesticides. Pesticides, mm -hmm. thank you. We harm, harvest baby carrots, green mm -hmm. beans, and baby corn. All our products are mixed, frozen, and hygienically packaged, ready to consume. Currently, we sell our product in a small local market, and therefore we have a little profit. We hire some experts to train the work prepare the land, plant the seeds, and collect our products. With all this, we have achieved some good clients in the local market. Now my partner Thelma is going to explain something else. Great. Okay. Um, based on our advisors, in our previous experience, actually our product has direct channel to consumer who sells, who sells channel, who sells, who sells, excuse me, retail channel and bulk too. Okay. okay. Wow, five channels, very good. Yes, yes. Very good. But, That's perfect. That's perfect. Excellent. But we want to obtain the better channel. And then uh, with all this potential that we have in our business, we ask the next question. Will customers more demanding by us. Um, and then my friend continued. Partner? Uh, who is, is here? Okay. Well, is okay. is are not stories, okay. <laughs> Is Doris? Yes. Doris is here. She was here. 
Okay, I will continue. Can can you continue? Okay. Well, if we manage to keep to keep each vegetables package, can you continue and read? Okay, I will. Um, with customers more demanding by us, well, if we manage to keep each vegetables package in optimal conditions at freezing temperature, obviously they might last longer to transport them over long distances. The product will arrive in optimal conditions to other markets outside your locality. Of course, with a better price. So if obviously we use the wholesale channel, it's probably that the direct offer, the direct offer has lower profits instead of the wholesale channel. And naturally we will have to offer more products to them. And the last part, well, the question, first product, in brand, and the advisors recommend us that our products always have good presentations, make our brand easy to remember. And certainly good publicity will help us. First organization, of course. Only with wholesale channel will will undoubtedly Sorry, teacher. And the, um, Help us to save okay. our product. Undoubtedly. A will. A will what? Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Thank you. Undoubtedly. Help us to sell our product in large quantities in less time. Profit potential. We are convinced that the wholesale channel is the best, the best option to obtain great profits in the short time. With all this effort, we calculate to obtain up to 50% of profits. All right, up to, right? In that up situation. to. Mm -hmm. up to. Know, yes, Um. okay, excellent, all right, up to. Okay, let me write Thank that down. Thank you for your attention. Okay, that is it. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good job. Let me see. Very good. Very interesting. Very interesting. And there's something that I would like to say. Okay, great job. Let me put in check by your names. And I check by group one, group two, and group three. Great job. Now, remember that, okay, you mentioned, um, up to up to up to fifty percent profit, right? Up to right. And I saw your presentation right here, and I have to say something. Okay, I have to say this. Tengo que decir esto, right? Don't be alarmed. No, es que para alarmarlos son Okay, but it's the truth. Es la realidad. It's reality. And if you do not believe me. All you have to do is watch American news. No más tienen que ver las noticias americanas para validar lo que les voy a decir. All right. What you mentioned, your presentation was based on products, right? Basically farm products, right? Fresh, fresh produce, carrots and different vegetables, right? All these different things that are grown son crecidos en granjas, right? And they're, the, when you grow these products, Right? People want it. People want it. The problem is that there is a scarce, right? Not with your presentation, but with reality in the world, right? There are many countries right now, in este momento, at this very moment, and I'm not talking about Central America, I'm talking about uh, Asian countries, European countries, and the United States of America they are having a scarce of products. Productos son escasos ahorita. So the other day, I think Freddy was talking about, and someone else was talking about, you know, World War, uh, all these different things, right? But 
what happens when there are there are products that you cannot find anymore? What do you think will happen? ¿Qué creen que pasaría si uno va al shelf y ya no encuentra nada ahí en la tienda? You cannot find tomatoes, you cannot find chicken, you cannot find meat, you cannot find cheese, you cannot find milk. What do you think will happen? It's a big problem. Maybe some <laughs> hmm? person die for. There, there will be chaos, right? That's the beginning for chaos. Eso es el, los principios de caos, right? The cows. I remember when the pandemic started, when the pandemic started, when the pandemic right? when the pandemic started, and I remember in the United States, <clears throat> you had to wait for five or six hours in line. Mucha gente se peleaba para entrar, right? Big fights outside, big stores to get into Walmart, to get any supermarket because the products were scarce. And a lot of people were in line waiting to buy a product, right? That they had to limit, right? Even water, toilet paper. Toilet paper. Exactly, right? Papel higiene. Ahí se andaban hasta peleando por un rollo, right? So this is constantly growing, these problems. And I believe, this is my opinion, okay? I see a teacher. This is my opinion only. I believe that in the next 100 years, la gente más rica del mundo van a ser aquellos que crecen sus productos de la tierra. I believe that the rich people will be the ones that grow their products on land because the products will be high price. High price. Quizás con un anillo de oro se va a comprar una docena de huevos, right? So I believe that. I think, it's, I think the reality, the, the world, the way it's looking, is leading that way. So I really, I really, uh, I really uh, paid attention to your presentation. And I think that you're up to 50% will be up to 200% in 100 years, right? But that will be the reality. That will be the reality. I think your product will go up to more than 50%. All right. So thank you for your presentation. Well done. Well done. Remember that for unit two, you will do presentations like this y voy a premiar a aquellos que me den una mejor presentación. Right? Remember, I'm going to pay in cash or in cryptocurrency, whichever one you prefer. All right? So, yo manejo las dos. Right? I manage both. Right? So, for unit two, which is coming tomorrow, we're going to begin talking about different topics and individual presentations. It's going to be Remember that unit two is two weeks. La unidad dos son dos semanas, right? So we're going to do a massive activity there. And I'm going to ask you, right? Para aquellos que quieran, no es obligación. It's not an obligation. So I'm going to repeat it. It's not an obligation to do the presentation for the following unit. Why? Because you don't have to, okay? Cada quien decida si sí o no. You don't have to do it, all right? So I'm giving you the option also. Yo le estoy dando la opción también. Si no quiere hacerla, you do not have to. You're not obligated to do it. All right? So remember, that will be for um, unit two. And we will continue with what we have here. And we will go with the next, with the next uh, page right here, right? The next page. This is on your book. This is in your book. Can someone tell me what page this would be? Anyone who has 15. their book? Excuse me? 15. 15, 15 that is 15. correct. Exactly, mm -hmm. right? Page 15, page 15. And this is just a little bit of grammar. You saw this on the, on the homework also, right? On the platform. Let me stop share real quick. It's already 9 o'clock. All right. Now, uh, as you can see, administration entered again, all right? They're gone already, right? And this is the last, um, the last day for unit one. So I'm going to do the second attendance, okay? I'm going to do the second attendance, la segunda lista de asistencia. Abigail. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Present. 
present. All right, thank you. All right. Brenda, Brenda. All right, let me see. Carlos. I'm here present teacher. All right, great. Doris. Doris. Present. Thank you. <laughs> Edwin. Present. All right, great. Francisco. Francisco. All right, I think your camera is frozen. Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Glenda. I'm here, teacher. All right, perfect. Thank you. All right, it is. It is. Present, teacher. All right, great. Jackie. Jackie. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jarvin. All right, thank you. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Juan Jose. I'm here. All right, great. Carla. Carla. Present. All right, thank you. Um, Miguel. Miguel. All right. Neftali. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Rolando. Okay, not here. Telma. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Janari. I'm here. All right, great. Let me see. And Alvin. Present teacher. All right, great. Awesome. All right, let me see. Do, 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 all right, only two students missing. All right, great. Now, um, now, since the majority is here, ya que está aquí la mayoría. All right. And I know that some, there's about some that are new. Teacher. Yes. Uh, you mentioned me. Sorry, but my internet is running a little low. Yes, I mentioned you. I saw your, your camera was frozen, but I put oh. you present, okay? Okay, very thank you, Dish. All right, I put you present. I saw your thank camera you. froze. No problem. Thank All right. you. All right, great. Remember that if your camera freezes, you said, I queda atorada la camera, or your internet is unstable. If I can see you're here connected, I will put you present, okay? Si los puedo ver que están conectados, siempre los voy a poner presente. ¿Vale? De eso no se preocupen. All right? But thank you for okay. notifying me, Francisco. All right. Thank you, your teacher. All right, no problem. Let me see. Um, okay, now that, now that we're here, let me see. Hmm, okay. There are some of you that have not done um, or finished the activities in the platform, right? And remember that están auditando todo ahorita, all right? Alvin, ¿cuántas veces entró administración hoy? Una vez. All right, great. All right. Really, it was, they came twice. Yaman dos. Uh, they came twice. Remember that everything is being audited. Eh, están también auditando también la plataforma. All right. Insafor audita eso también. Eh, I'm going to say it in Spanish, okay, para que quede grabado. Porque también audita en la conferencia, si yo lo menciono también. Uh, es mi deber, me lo piden que lo haga, right. Eh, no me gusta estar diciendo lo mismo, lo mismo y todo, right. Pero lo tengo que hacer, ¿por qué? Porque me lo han pedido, right. Eh, recuerden que yo fui este fin de semana. I went down there this weekend and eh, aclarar algunas cosas sobre la plataforma. Pienso que con Freddy's y Juan José, right? Eh, incluso ahí algunas yes, cosas teacher. en la plataforma y ya se corrigió todo ahí en la plataforma. So, eh, thank you, Juan José, and thank you, Freddy's, also, for um, 
a esas dudas que tienen a veces sobre la plataforma y eso nomás es para mejorar, right? So, thank you always for notifying me y como pueden ver yo les contesto rápidamente. ¿Verdad, Juan José? Yes, yes, thank you. And Fred is also, right? Yes. All right, so, the other thing, la otra cosa es cuando no se hacen las tareas en la plataforma. All right. I'm going to call, I'm going to call on, aquí la estoy viendo ahorita, I'm going to call on someone y la apreté aquí compartir, pero ya lo quité. All right. I'm going to call on the people. Voy a llamar a las personas que ya cumplieron este requisito. All right. Abigail, Blanca, Carlos, Doris, Edwin, Fredis, Glenda, Iris, Jackie, Jarvin, Jennifer, Juan José, Miguel. Segunda lista. Neftali. And Janari. If I didn't call your name, si no llamé su nombre, o dos cosas. O no ha llegado al 80%. O no ha hecho ninguna de las actividades. If I didn't call your name. Si no llame su nombre. Ya saben a quiénes son. Right? So ya queda aquí en la grabación. Llamé a los que ya cumplieron el requisito mínimo de 80%. Si ustedes quieren mejorar esa nota, que tienen 80, la pueden mejorar. Ok. Eh, siempre yo observo. Recuerden que yo, yo me duermo hasta las 12. Right? Eh, bueno, como a la una, right? But hay la plataforma, eh, las tareas tienen que estar terminadas para hoy, para las 12. Recuerden que les recordé el viernes, right? Y les recordé temprano en el grupo y administración también les mandó un mensaje eh, al grupo hace unos días, right? Eh, remember, ok, algunos dicen, ok, teacher, well, eh, no lo voy a hacer hasta... Whenever, right? Okay, you don't have to, right? Pero es un, es un requisito, no mío, all right? No es mío, sino que de Insafor, right? Entonces, si no lo hacen, eh, me han pedido que yo, so, que yo uh, mande los nombres completos de aquellos que no han cumplido con el requisito, all right? No me gusta hacer eso, ni lo quiero hacer. So, les pido, por favor, que terminen hoy. Si aquí voy a estar yo toda la noche, si necesitan ayuda. Hasta las 12, una, no importa. Yo voy a estar aquí pendiente de ustedes. Ya para mañana, mandaré la lista y la mandaré eh, al grupo también. Para que quede ahí. No quiero hacer eso. Por favor, no me hagan que hacer eso. I don't want to do that, ¿ok? Porque ya iniciando ya la primera semana, ya van a ver quiénes, quiénes son los nombres que no están cumpliendo con los requisitos. Y es probable que le den una llamada. Right? So, avoid that. Eviten cualquier llamada administrativa. Se los digo, please avoid it, all right? Remember, aprovechen estas oportunidades de becas, please. Right? Ese es mi consejo. All right, ya quedando claro eso, let's go to the English part. So if they see this audio, ya, si auditan este video, ya pueden ver que les di la notificación. All right, ya salí yo de mi compromiso. Espero que ustedes cumplan también, all right? And let's continue. All right, now let's go to page. Um, to the. All right, so we have I have the whole book right here, but we are going to look at this page right here. Page 15. All right, we're going to look at page 15 and I'm going to go to my PowerPoint. All right. And for those of you that are finished, also, before we continue, those of you that finished, aquellos que ya terminaron esto, ya puse sus notas en la plataforma administrativa. All right? No más faltan aquellos. So, your grades are here. And also, I want to thank everyone who did it. Y algunos hasta ya hicieron el examen de midterm. Ya eso ya también lo puse. Y unit two also, some of you already finished. 
Algunos ya terminaron la una y la dos y ya está el examen. So, good job on you, right? So remember, right? I see some of you are smiling, right? Like, yeah, 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 right? So very good, very good. I already put your grade in the platform also. Let me see. Déjame ir aquí. All right. All right, can you see the screen? Yes, teacher. All right, great. Excellent. All right, can you read, please, Alvin? Let's begin. How to express comparisons with as, has, and not as, as. Look at examples <laughs> in the box, right. then complete the exercise below. Very good, very good. So what we're going to do is just look at small grammar, right? It's just a little bit of grammar using comparisons, right? Using as. As plus an adjective plus as in another. You can use nouns, okay? Sustantivos also, you can use nouns or adverbs with as. It's just a way the, the, centers, the sentence structure is. Can you continue, please? Thank you, um, Alvin. Juan Jose. Can you read the first one, please? Getting? Okay. Getting the right product is as important as getting the right place to sell the product. Very good. Getting the right product is as important as getting the right place to sell the product. Very good. So as you can see here, we have as important as. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? As important as. Can someone basically translate this and try to figure out what it says. Tan importante yes. como? Exactamente, very good, right? Getting the right product, is, eh, adquiriendo, eh, obteniendo el eh, producto correcto, es tan importante como, right? Very good. It's like tan y como. Very good, very good. Continue please, Juan Jose. The company adds uh, from much value to distribution as they can. Very good. So we have another comparison here. As much value to distribution as they can, right? Tanto valor a la distribución como pueden, right? So we're doing a comparison as and as. We're using both as and we're using information in between to compare, to compare two actions or two things that can go in one sentence okay it's like when you say it's es tan importante como right a, right it's like getting an education is important as getting a good job or something like that all right so we have uh, we have those comparisons right okay thank you juan jose let's continue please uh neftali Comparison can also be negative. My distributors are not as fast as the ones you partner with. Very good. My distributors are not as fast as the ones you partner with, right? So you have a comparison here, not as fast. We can use negative, right? No lo suficientemente rápido como, right? No son tan rápido como the ones you partner with. My distributors are not as fast as, not as fast as. Remember that the negative, the negative comes before, tiene antes, when we use the negative before as. We do not say my distributors are as not, no. We say not as. Remember that rule when we use negatives. Okay, continue Neftali. The shipping transportation from my distributors is not as effective as shown in their advertising. Very good, very good. The shipping transportation from my distributors is not as effective as shown in their advertising, right? So we're, they're doing two comparisons, right? Compare, they're comparing the shipment to the advertising, right? 
not effective as not as effective as right no tan efectivamente ¿verdad? no tan efectivos como vistos en los advertise how many times have you seen something that is not as it's as it's seen or, or not as it's shown to you alguna vez han ido have you ever been to for example burger king and they give you like something big or any other any other restaurant. It's not granted, right? They, they serve pretty good hamburger. But let's look at other restaurants that you see it there. And then when you get it, it's not the same. Ni es parecido a la foto, right? Not, it doesn't even look the same as the picture or as the same way as you as it looks in the advertising. Neftali, have you ever bought something that is not as it looks? Um. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? Yeah, it was TikTok. It was what? It was TikTok. That TikTok. From, uh, I don't remember the name of the TikTok. Mm -hmm. The name of the of the business that is. It, they say it, this is the familiar TikTok. It was like a personal TikTok. All right. Very. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now, one time. I bought a, it said a big pizza for three people, right? And then when I got the pizza, it was like this. And I was like, oh, no, right? Come on, right? $13 for this? No way, right? And sometimes it's not as it looks, right? Not as it looks. Now, this way to do the comparisons, it's very easy, all right? All you have to do is, Compare two things, and we're going to do this together. Lo vamos a hacer junto. This is also, I think, part of your activity as, as it is in the homework platform. Let's look at number one. Um, please read. Um, um, let me see. Glenda. Glenda. Hi, teacher. Okay. Can you continue? Let me let me see. Uh, the shipment transportation from my distributors. Yeah, I see more that... We did that one already. Oh, okay. Okay, can someone tell Glenda where, where we at? I'm sorry? Can someone tell Glenda where we are at? Alguien puede decir a Glenda donde estamos en la página? Yeah, order the words to make sentence in Very the good. first sentence. Thank you. Okay. Number five, order the words to make sentence. Number one, help you produce as retailers, as wholesalers, much profit. Okay, very good. And then we, we have these slashes, right, to separate. And can you read the correct way it, it will be uh, made, the sentence, Glenda? Retailers help you produce as much profit as wholesalers. Very good, very good, excellent, very good. Retailers help you produce as much profit as wholesalers. Excellent, well done. Thank you, Glenda. Thank you. All right, um, number two, number two, um, let me see. Mm hmm number two. Me teacher. Okay. Okay. The shipment will be delivery as soon as you pay pay. No, I'm sorry. The shipment will be delivery. Will be uh, de delivered. Will be delivery as soon as soon as the payment is received. Okay. The shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. All right, very good. Uh, let me see. All right, here we go. Is that what you said? Yes? Yes. 
Yes. Very good. Do you think it's good? Because, okay. yeah, it's because uh, the number one and number two, I have it wrong in the platform. And I don't know why, because I, I wrote it down as, as like this. Yeah, actually, I the, the platform say that I'm wrong. I don't okay. Know why. Okay. Did you put a period at the end? A period. Yes. In yes, I, I put the period. In the okay. End. In the platform, uh, yeah. in, in that one, just take mm -hmm. the period off. Take the period off. Quita el puntito al final and check it. Okay. If you want, you can. Okay. Check it. Right now, I'll give you a few minutes and then you can verify. Okay. L l let me see. All right. All right. That is that is. All right. Very good. That is the correct form. All right. Number three. Okay. Number three. Let me see. Neftali, go ahead and give me number three. Credit transportation is as expensive as storage capacity. Okay. Product. Credit transportation. Is as expensive. As storage capacity. Storage, storage. Storage. Very good. As storage capacity. All right. All right. Let me put it right here. All right. What about number four? Freddy's. Yeah. Okay, number four. Some channel dis distribution strategies are not as efficient as others. Okay, very good. Some channel All right. Some channel distribution strategies are not right, very good, as efficient as others. All right. Very good. And the last one. Let me see. Juan Jose. OK. All right. Selling our digital courses throughout stores is not as profitable as distributing them online. Very good, excellent, excellent. All right, selling. All right, sending our digital courses through a store is not as profitable as distributing them online. All right, it's pretty long, right? I go lot of guys. All right, but that will be, I will put it right here as number five. Let me see. Uh, maybe I can make this just a little bit more. All right. So 
that will be the answers to these on the book. I know some of you already did it, right? Aquello que hicieron las actividades, pues esto estaba ahí, right? This was already there in the platform also. Now, let's do the last page, the last page. This should have been easy because you did it in the platform, right? The answers are there also. But let's do the last page. The last page is a reading activity, right? Let me see. Let me get rid of this. All right, here we have an activity right here. Mm, let me see who I'm going to call on. Doris, can you read up here, please? Uh, I will be able to provide suggestions to retaliate business. Businesses. 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 Very good. Suggestions. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, con S al final. Suggestions. Suggestions. Yes, oh, very good, Doris. Well done. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, continue, please. Let's... Is it, mm -hmm. let's start. Is it important for retailers a store to know the strengths and weaknesses of the competition? What is your opinion about the following? The customer is always right. Okay, very good. This word right here, strength, strength. Strength. Mm, eh, eh, emite, emitemos la che. Let's omit the che. Strength, uh -huh. strength. Strength. No, no, la ch no. All right, strength, strength. Doris? Strengths. That's all. Good job. Perfect. Well done. SOS. That's good. Very good. Perfect. Right. Now, know the strengths and weaknesses. Right. Strengths. Mm -hmm. eh, estas weaknesses son las debilidades. Y esto sería la que? Las fortalezas. Right. The strengths and weaknesses of your competition. Now, there's a question right here. According to what Doris read, the customer is always right. What do you think about that? Do you think that that is correct? What do you think? What do you think about uh, that slogan? No. No? For me, it's not right. For you, it's not right. All right. Sure. For me, I think that this is, is right because, because if you don't know that, you don't, you don't know uh, where are you in that moment when you start or how you can do for for to to do um, uh, the thing that you want to do or for example uh, grow your own uh, uh, company for example uh, you you don't have to know for example what are your abilities because you can you can you can you can do better if you need to to learn something more you have to learn that um, for that reason okay okay thank you carlos for your opinion thank you freddy's for your opinion anyone else what do you think about the the opinion about the customer is always right el cliente siempre está correcto what do you think about that neftali the customer is always right. Imagine the customer says that he already paid for the for the thing that he's getting and he hasn't paid. So he will be right. All right. So, <laughs> All right. So not always the customer has the right. Okay. Who do you think has the slogan? Who do you think has the slogan? Who do you think uses this? slogan wholesalers okay wholesalers who do you think else there used to be i don't Retailers. know retailers okay a customer a customer right <laughs> create the property yeah the customer's always right this slogan i believe 
years back to many years ago, many, many years ago, decades, decades, I said decades, decades ago. And um, one of these, one of the few that I remember that used this slogan was Southwest Airlines, La Aerolinea de Southwest in the United States, right? They had this slogan where the customer is always right, right? And I was like, wow, right? But sometimes uh, the customer is not, in my opinion, is not always right, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. they can they can lie, right? Sometimes they can try to get away with things, right? But uh, this is a slogan that was used in the United States. And, and I know one for sure was Southwest Airlines. They use this where they say the customer is always right. Cierra the slogan de ellos, right? That was the slogan in the, in the airlines, right? So if you went to Southwest Airlines and the, someone missed the flight or the plane, something happened, you're correct, and they refund you the money, right? So I guess that's how they work. But let's continue. Um, mm, Janari. Yes, teacher. Can you continue, please? Okay. Read the, read the expert about tips that successful retailers implement. Then answer the comp compression questions below. Mm, okay. Answer. Answer. Answer the compression questions Com below. Comprehension. Comprehension. Then answer the comprehension questions below. Perfect. Very good. Excellent. Continue. You're doing great, Yanari. Continue. Okay. The following habits are received repeatedly. 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 Yes. The following habits are repeatedly observed among many successful retailers. Prioritizing is key. Prioritizing. Prioritizing. Prioritizing is key. Very good. Scheduling time, scheduling time limits and delay, uh, deadlines. 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 Thank you, teacher. And de deadlines. Even as your own boss can help make retailers stay focused, focused and on schedule. Eliminating extra time spent where it should shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Okay, where where it shouldn't be. Where it should it shouldn't be. Okay, much better. All right. So here is talking about prioritizing, right? La prioritización. I don't know how to say it in Spanish correctly, but I think you get the idea, right? Prioritización. Um, Okay, thank you. <laughs> Maybe you can help me with this. Right? I don't think I can say it even again, right? So here's yeah. prioritizing is key, right? That is the key, yeah. right? La prioritización, right? So it's important when you are in the business, when you're in, the, in, in commerce, in anything that you do in life, I believe, right? This is important. Not just in business, but in your average life. It says deadlines. ¿Qué quiere decir deadlines? Tempo limite. Uh -huh. That's time limits and deadlines, right? It's the same thing, right? Deadlines son esos, esos, limit, esos limitantes, right? For example, if it says, I'm going to give you a deadline. I'm going to give you an example of a deadline. El pago de recibo de luz, right? Uh -huh. It has a, it has yeah. a deadline, right? What happens okay. if you pass that deadline? Hay sure. alguna... More. All right. Yes. Right. There is a surcharge. There is an extra fee. Right. Right. Hay una consecuencia. Right? Sure. There is a consequence for if you do not meet the deadline. Right. Kind of like not doing the homework in the platform. Right. There's a deadline. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. I, I, read, I, read, <laughs> I, read, I read your mind. Right? Right? So. <laughs> Freddy was like, yeah, I was like, la que va a hablar de la plataforma. Right. <laughs> uh, so deadlines, yeah. deadlines in business, they have to be met, all right? If not, there are consequences, right? There are consequences. And that is everything in life, right? If you do not do the platform homeworks, what's going to happen? I'm going to send your name, right? This is the other mm -hmm. consequence. 
I'm going to send your name so administration will have it, right? I don't want to do that, but your deadline is for today, and I'm giving you extra. I'm going to stay up. Si me cae el mensaje, teacher, terminé, voy y pongo su nota en la plataforma, right? En mi otra computadora. But those are deadlines, right? Remember, extra time spent where it shouldn't be, right? So eliminating, right, that extra time that company spent. Si andan perdiendo el tiempo en una empresa, ellos eliminan esas cosas, right? They eliminate those those flaws that is prioritizing. Continue, please, um, Yanari. Okay. Letting go is a must. Successful retailers analyze this situation as opportunity to learn from versus beating themselves. Themselves. It's correct? Yes. Themselves. Yes. Themselves up over. The more retailers know through, 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 yes. through, through, through. No through hard data. The better they are in supporting their customers. Very good. All right. Now, here is talking about let it go is a must. For example, if they have bad experiences, don't look. Let's let's fix it and let's move on. Fix it, move on. Don't stop and be like, oh, oh, right, but no. Fix it and move on. In other words. Let it go. Déjalo ir. Let it go. Ya pasó. Bad, bad situation, right? And that way you get to know your customer better. Continue, Yanari. Training staff is vital. 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 Training staff is vital. The, the key is to invest time and dollars into, into your employees to reap the rewards. Rewards. Mm -hmm. Rewards of strong associates, associates, and associates, associates, and as a result, strong sales. Very good. Now, what happens here? Ah, algo que me pasó este fin de semana. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Training staff, right? Before I went to San Salvador, I said, bueno, le voy a llevar allá a la administración su pan dulce, right? Cajita de la Lorena aquí, una panadería. And what I did was. <laughs> I said, yeah, every time I go over there, I always take something, right? Cada vez que voy de aquí para allá, donde quiera que visito, siempre llevo algo, right? I always take something, right? Whether it's cheese, sweet bread, pan dulce, o lo que sea, right? I always have that. Siempre tengo esta cortesía, right? Es algo que siempre lo he hecho. And, and I went to this place early in the morning, right? Early in the morning. And what happened? The person that was attending me, didn't know how to package. No sabía cómo hacer la cajita. And I was like, what, what, what? I said, can you hurry? Se puede apurar, por favor? Estoy de prisa. And she's like, es que no sé hacer la caja. And I was like, oh my God. Right? <laughs> I said, son dos. There's two boxes you have to make, right? No, just one. You have to do two. And I was like, yeah, well, yes, I'm being patient. I'm right? like, come on, man. So another person had to come do it for her, right? They had to come do it for her. And then she tells her, ¿Y cuánto llevas trabajando aquí? Le preguntó la, la compañera, right? And she goes, seis días, six days, right? And she did not know how to make the box to put the bread. I was like, okay. But those are things that are talking about here. Training staff, el entrenamiento del personaje es vital, right? Remember, this is important, right? I don't know what happened there, but they made a mistake in not training the the... the the girl, right? And I told her, don't worry, I understand. I told her, para que no se sintiera mal, right? I understand. I remember when I first had my first job, right? No sabía todo, but don't worry. Just be ready for Christmas. Ahí para la Navidad sí no voy a esperar. All right? There are going to be 200 people in line, right? 200 personas ahí, right? So, okay, continue, please. Knowing the competi competition is a priority. 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 This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sale, and other ways to stay afloat. It's right, afloat. Yes, perfect. Afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. Very good. So here is talking about knowing your competition, right? 
Always be able to understand the market. And staying afloat. Afloat significa quedarse a flote. In other words, staying the positive, right? Not so much as to, oh, I want to make all the money, but to stay in business, to stay productive. Okay, continue, please, Yanari. Shifting store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing, 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 willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Listen to customers, react, react to react to consumer trends, work with vendors, and respond to what customers want. That is how you are able how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Very good, right? This is talking about inventory. I'm pretty sure all of you know about inventory, right? I will make sure you have the the right products when people want to order from your company. You don't want people to order from you. You're like, ah, I don't have it in stock. I don't have it in the warehouse. And you accept the order, right? That gives you a negative impact if you lie to the customer que tienen el producto cuando en realidad no lo tienen, right? So it's always good to make sure uh, you have inventory. And if you want to shift, shifting means like you might not have it here, but you might have it in, in Santa Tecla or you might have it in Usulután. If you have different stores, you just call and say, hey, send it over here. I have a customer that needs it, right? That's a shifting, right? Shifting inventory. All right, now, you have four questions here. You have four questions. Can you, thank you, Yanari, for reading this. And let's continue with another volunteer. Who wants to read the first sentence? Question. Me, teacher. Okay, Abigail, thank you. Why are scheduling time limits and deadlines important to a retailer? Okay, very good. Read number two. Why do sales become strong when retailers invest in training employees? Okay. Number three. What is a good way to get to know the competition? Okay, very good. Number four. How do retailers become able to effectively buy inventory for their stores? Okay, very good. Inventory, inventory. All inventory. Right. Very good. Now, this is what we're going to do. Thank you for your participation, Abigail. Now, what I'm going to do is, you're going to do these four questions and you, um, you're going to do it in groups, all right? You're going to do it in groups. And I'm going to give you like 10 minutes to do it at the most, at most. And let me see. I'm going to send it just in case some of you do not have it with you. I'm going to send it here. We need to answer the questions in group. Yes, you are. Yes. I'm going to put you in breakout rooms and you're going to, to do it in groups. All right. And try to get the right answers and let me see breakout rooms. You do not have to send it to me. Okay. No me la manden a me. You're going to do it with your classmates mm -hmm. for 10 minutes and then we're going to come back and we will do it in class, all right? Let me see. All right, you ready? One, two, three. All right, you're going to answer these four questions. I send it to the group. You want to share screen, you have 10 minutes to do it, 10 minutes of, uh, as of right now.
All right, welcome back. Okay, let me share screen. All right. I think if you were in groups, I think with enough classmates to do this activity. All right, what would be number one? Can someone read number one to me? What would be the answer? What would me be teacher. the answer? Okay, go ahead. Okay, why are scheduling time limits uh, and deadlines important to a retailer? It's because can help make retailers stay focused and on the sketcher eliminating extra time it shouldn't it shouldn't be very good very good that is correct but that is correct they help retailers stay focused and on schedule right and on schedule very good very good perfect number two what will be number two anyone else me teacher me teacher okay right. <laughs> okay i hear you someone Okay, go ahead, Blanca. Uh, why do sales become strong when retailers invest in training employees? Employees, because the employees became associates with the right training. Okay, very good. With the right training, right? They become strong associates, right? Very good, very good. And you can also include which results in strong sales, right? But very good, Blanca, very good. Excellent, that is correct, right? They become strong associates, right? Become strong associates. Very good. Number three. Alvin. Hey. <laughs> okay. Number three is, what is a good way to get, a, get to know the competition? Uh, a good way is to analyze the trends, meet the opportunities, and new strategies to compete for sales. Very good, very good, excellent, right? You have to analyze the trends, right? The trends are like the movements, right? Everything that you have to be able to, to uh, recognize and be able to see as far as movement in the economy, in your business, anything, right? The trends, the ups and downs, right? The trends. And missed opportunities, right? Just like you mentioned, for example, like, hey, man, fallamos en esto. We, 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 we didn't do the right thing, right? We missed that opportunity, right? And new strategies to compete for sales. Very good. Number four, the last one. Okay, I'm waiting, someone, the last one. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. How do retailer, retailers become able to effectively buy inventory for their store? Mm -hmm. Listen to customers, react to customer trends, work with vendors. Very good, very good, perfect, right? That's good, mm -hmm. that's good. So you listen to the customers, right? You're like, okay, well, I want, I want to hear you, right? Listen to the customers and you react to the trends. In other words, see what reaction you get from the customers. And then you're like, okay, we have a little situation here, right? And then work with vendors and also respond. You also have to be able to respond to their wants, right? To their wants, right? What the customer wants, right? All right, that was this activity, the last page of unit four let me see i mean unit four unit one <laughs> yeah unit four is a long way from here let me see all right so we did this page right here can you see the screen yes no yes all right great so we finish this page right now okay guess what tomorrow we begin the new unit Mañana empezamos la nueva unidad. Remember that. Tomorrow we start a new unit. And today, unit one ends. Unit one ends today. We begin unit two tomorrow. Remember that unit two is for two weeks. All right. Unit two has, unit two has homeworks in the platform and an exam. All right. But you have two weeks to do it. 
Do not wait to the last minute, okay? Do not wait to the last minute. All right, so this is what we're going to see beginning tomorrow. Logistics, la logística de las empresas, logistics, and a little bit of all this that, we, that you can see on the screen, right? A lot of vocabulary. And this is where we're going to do the activity, all right? It's not going to be easy for those that want to challenge to yourself. <clears throat> It will be almost at the end, maybe at the end of next week, right? But I will give you the ideas, right? Unit two is a little long, it's algo intensa la unidad, but it's two weeks. As you can see, all these pages, right? It's about 10 pages. It's not hasta you termina. Page 24. It ends on page 24, all right? Page 24. That will be basically almost 10 pages. All right. So that will be starting tomorrow. Let me take the final attendance. All right. Let me see. Okay. Abigail. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Present. All right. Brenda. Okay. Carlos. I'm here present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Doris. Present. All right. Edwin. Present. All right. Francisco. Present, teacher. All right, great. Freddy's. Present, teacher. All right, great. Glenda. Glenda. All right. Iris. Present teacher. All right. Jackie. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Jarvin. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Juan Jose. Present. All right. Carla. Carla, okay, Miguel. Sorry, I don't have the. Okay. I can push it off. I am here. Okay. okay, let me see. Thank you, Miguel. Miguel, okay, zero. Neftali. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Rolando. Rolando, okay, zero. Telma. Teacher. Thank you. Janari. I'm here. All right. And finally, Alvin. Present teacher. Yeah, right. I hear okay. you. Yeah, I put you, I put you present, Glenda. I thank you. Okay, because I, I can see you're here. And if if you're here, I will put you present. Okay? But no problem. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Glenda. Let me see. All right, class. I just want to look at something real quick. Um, let me see. Remember that uh, the next unit has two has two things that you have to complete, and that is the uh, the homework and the midterm exam. If you have any questions during that time, please do not hesitate to contact me. Okay. Let me see. I have so far. Oh, uh, two, three, okay. So I have only three people, only three students. Hay tres nomás que no han completado la plataforma. So you have till 12 o'clock. The rest of you that finish earlier, I appreciate it. Eh, terminando la clase, transmito lo que es sus notas. Y para las 12, mandaría todo. All right, so thank you all. And for those of you, the three that, that haven't finished, if you do not do it, I will send your names first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, class, have a good night. And the only person that is staying today is Doris. 
you stay the extra 10 minutes. Everyone else, good night, and thank you for your cooperation, and I'll see you tomorrow to begin Unit 2. Unit 2, get ready. That's the Thanks, unit. teacher. All right. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. All right. All right. Bye bye. Hello, Doris. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hi. Okay. This is your extra 10 minutes, okay? This is time for you to ask me any questions. Or if you want to just work on vocabulary or you just want to conversate in English, we can do that also. Okay? Whatever, whatever you want to choose your your time with. And I want to thank you for doing the homework in the platform, okay? Thank mm -hmm. you. All right. I already put your grade. Ya le puse su nota aquí en la otra plataforma administrativa. All right. So okay. you're good. All right. Do you have any questions, Doris? Uh, my, uh, I think my problem is uh, speaking. I, I understand the grammar in, in, in the book or when I read something, but for me it's hard. The speaking in in for all times. Okay. Now, the best way. I mean, uh, this is this is probably is this your first time with uh, in Safor English Corporativo? No, I in before the pandemia. Pandemic. I, pandemic. Pandemic. I studied. Uh, we we are, but uh, uh, before before after the pandemic, I I I study in in, in English cooperative when staying in college La Salle. Uh, okay. But uh, I cut the. The, the I can't stand it because I I had to travel. Okay. And then I I I me perdí. I got lost, right? You got lost, right? Now, well, I'm glad you're you're continuing, right? Remember, okay. this is an opportunity for you, right? Mm -hmm. To continue to grow in the English language, right? Don't let it go. All right, como vivamos hoy temprano, don't let it go, all right? Get it and take the opportunity and continue. But as far as speaking, mm -hmm. remember that speaking and listening go together, all right? Speaking and listening go together and reading and writing go together, right? They all mix together at the end, but we speak how we listen, right? Mm -hmm. So remember that, Doris. So the best thing to do is communicate with people that know some English so you can hear them. But if you want, I can send you some, um, some, okay, you can, you can listen good, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can listen to, but your speaking skills, right? Your speaking skills. That means that you're not practicing the English language with other people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? Que no. No practico usted saliendo de clase, ya no, right? So oh. what what uh what what I suggest is like in the group, maybe if you know some of them, try to communicate in English and try to speak, right? Try to speak as much. You can put a little words in Spanish here and there, but try to speak as as most as you can in English, right? At least 80, 90% must be English in order to grow, in order to grow. This is an intermediate class, right? It's not, it's not like the top advanced, it's intermediate, right? That's why I speak some words sometimes, I speak a little bit of Spanish, right? But not, not like the whole class is going to be in Spanish, right? It has to be in English, but I can put a little bit of Spanish in case some people get lost, right? And the thing I was right, some might get lost and I have to get them back. But the speaking, why don't we do this, Doris? 
Do you what? want to do a, ch a challenge? Would you like to do a challenge? A challenge? Quisiera usted hacer un reto? Would you like to do a challenge? Okay. You ready? Aunque no sabe qué es. Uh, you don't know what it is? It will be just between me and you. Between okay. You. Okay. Now, why don't we do this? Try to send me an audio. Uh, okay. At least one minute, right? Minimum, uno o dos minutos. One to two minutes, right? Durante todo el módulo. Every day. Every day, if you can, right? Si puede. If you want to, right? I want to hear you, right? I want to hear you. That way, uh, remember that here in the in the platform, here in the, in the class, I have to abide, me tengo que alinear, I have to align myself con los indicadores de INSAFOR, que es inglés para el trabajo, right? Mm -hmm. So these are by, through INSAFOR and with inglés corporativo. I have to teach what the manual say in manual, right? I have to teach what's here. Mm -hmm. But this is like English para el trabajo, right? But okay. what you're going to send me is going to be regular speaking, right? What we talk about every day, right? Today I did this, in the morning I did that, right? He said, yes, all right? Or what? You don't have to tell me the truth. You can invent, right? Pueden inventar también, si no. Tengo que decir a ti todo lo que puedo. Right, now, but. I can read. Hmm? I can read something. Okay. Uh, you, what I would like for you, yeah, you can read something and I would like to hear you, right? You can read something, you can read maybe something off the internet, maybe uh, American news, right? Alguna noticia de Estados Unidos, maybe some American news, and you can tell me what's going on and I want to hear you, right? And then maybe for a minute, right? For a minute, and then uh, if I am able to distinguish what you're saying or if I see some little mistakes, I will send you an audio also and give you some corrections, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you ready for that challenge? Yes, I I, I like. <laughs> All right, this is just coming from me, okay? So the, the, you're out there, right? From me to you, all right? To help you, to help you grow, all right? Mm -hmm. And I will gladly do it, okay? I will gladly do it, all right? Okay. Remember, I am here for you, right? I am here for you. All right. mm -hmm. I am here for you to help you in anything that I can, All right? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so if you want, you're trying not to make it too long, right? I think, or not too long, right? But just a minute, something, something that maybe you read and you would like to share with me about what you're reading or something that you saw, right? Or whatever, right? Just speaking, just speaking. Okay. okay. Le parece? Yes. All right. Great. All right. It's up to you if you want to go to this challenge right so remember my my number's right there you have it please mm -hmm. feel free okay feel free okay mm -hmm. all right great so let me see um remember that tomorrow we begin unit two right unit two and it's about um logistics all right it's about logistics so be prepared for tomorrow on that and when you do the rest of the homeworks Remember that if you have any questions, Doris, any questions in the platform, I am here to help you, okay? So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Doris. Entonces, well, that is it right now. That is our, our 10 minutes. And I'll be waiting for your voice messages, all right? Through WhatsApp. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, no problem, Doris. It was a pleasure having you. And continue, okay? Continue to grow, continue to grow. Do not stop, all right? We never stop learning, remember that. We never stop learning. We mm -hmm. only stop ourselves. We only stop ourselves from continuing. So continue, continue, Doris. And thank you, and thank you for participating in class, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Yes. All right? Bye. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye.